Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, what's that? It looks like paper. Here's another one. Oh, there you are, Charlie. What are you drawing? Is it a building? Oh, uh, a tree with a dog on top. Oh, I, I know, I know, I know. It, it, it's a mouse riding a bicycle around a maze. It was a drawing of rivets. Right, I, I knew that. Uh, Charlie, don't give up. Come on, do another picture. Draw something you really like. It could be something real or something that you imagine. You can do a picture of anything you want. Good stuff, Charlie Bear. So what are you going to draw? Ah, oh, you're going to draw a window. Oh, you're going to draw something outside the window. Right. What a lovely park. There'll be plenty of lovely things to draw here, Charlie. That will make a fantastic drawing. Don't forget, Charlie, there's no need to get annoyed just because the drawing isn't turning out how you thought. It doesn't have to look exactly like the flower. Oh, right, you're concentrating. Sorry, won't say another word. Oh, look, there's Bellerina. Sorry. Oops, be careful. <laughs> be, get it? Is the B? You... Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear. Are you okay, Charlie? Never mind, Charlie. Pictures can change in unexpected ways. Stop! Don't scribble over it, Charlie. Show it to me, please. I love it. I really love it. It's beautiful. Charlie, don't you believe me? I love that it doesn't look exactly like the flower and it doesn't have to. It's a drawing, Charlie, not a photo. <gasps> You're drawing! Follow that roller skater! There she goes, Charlie. <laughs> Over here. Charlie, this way. Woo, isn't Bellarina a good skater, Charlie? <laughs> oh, I guess chasing isn't allowed here. <laughs> Drawing pictures isn't allowed either. Oh, no. Don't give up, Charlie. Don't go. But you're so good at drawing. There must be something you can do. Charlie, what have you thought of? That's the same as the sign. Charlie, you clever bear.
Well done, Charlie Bear. Well done for not giving up on your drawing. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination, Charlie. Oh, yes. That one, too. Is that all of your pictures? What are you drawing now, Charlie? A picture of me? No one wants to see what I look like. I'm just a regular... I don't look like a flower with a kitten face. That's silly. It is. <laughs> it's funny too, but still. I know. Draw another picture of me, Charlie. Go on, please. Oh, yes. Bye-bye, everyone. Let's see how silly Charlie can make me look this time. <laughs> Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh. There you are, Charlie. Are you travelling around the world? You're travelling very fast. Ah, a desert island. Is that where you're going? Right. Then you'd better pack some supplies. It's a long way away. What will you take with you, Charlie Bear? Hmm. Do you really think you'll need a toy trumpet on the island? Do you think you should take something useful, like a book to read or something to shade you from the sun? Good choice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure that they'll be very useful on a desert island. Why don't you take something really useful, like a bouncy hopper? Um, I wasn't actually thinking of a bouncy hopper, Charlie, but it's up to you. Are you ready to go? Aren't you taking anyone with you? You might like some friends to play with on your desert island. Well, aren't you going to explore your beautiful tropical island? It's almost as small as it was on your map. <laughs> but at least it's nice and sunny, and you've got the island all to yourself. Enjoy your island, Charlie Bear. Fantastic sandcastle, Charlie. Are you going to guard it from pirates? Where did your sandcastle go, Charlie? Oops! <laughs> Never mind. You could always build another one. Or you could do something else. Like making a very loud noise. Have you run out of things to do, Charlie? I suppose those boingy things are funnier when your friends are there to laugh at them. Maybe you should have let some friends come with you. What can you see, Charlie Bear? I think 
think that boat is too far away to see you. You'll have to do something to help them spot you. Did you bring a flag you can wave at the boat? What other things did you bring with you, Charlie? I wonder what you can do with them. You just need to attract the attention of that boat, Charlie. You've got to love that bear. you. It's great to have your friends with you on your little island, mm -hmm. isn't it, Charlie? But, um, there's not much room for you all to play, is there? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination, Charlie. I'm glad to see you found an island big enough for you and all your friends. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh! <laughs> there you are, Charlie! Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie? Charlie? Charlie! <laughs> you need to be a little more careful, Charlie. You're being a bit of a monkey today. You put gloves on your feet. You are a monkey. <laughs> I suppose monkeys can act all silly sometimes. But if you're not careful, you might break something or upset someone. Why don't you go outside and be silly in the garden? Oh, it's raining. I suppose you can't go outside now, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, you really should calm down. Can't you be a monkey without being so out of control? Oh, you're in the right place now, Charlie. If a monkey's going to act silly and overexcited, then a jungle is just the place to do it. <laughs> and you do make a very good monkey, Charlie. It looks like fun. And it seems like you've got this jungle all to yourself. And you can be as silly as you like because there's no one else here for you to upset. Oh, except Midge. And he's a tiger. You'd better calm down and not make too much noise, Charlie Bear. No one likes being disturbed when they're asleep, especially a tiger. Careful, Charlie! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Mitch the tiger has woken up. Whew. It looks like you got away with that one, Charlie Bear. You were very lucky, but I think it'll be okay now, as long as you calm down. Charlie! 
That's not calming down. And you really shouldn't play with food, especially next to a sleeping tiger. You'll wake Midge up again. You threw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bananas. Oh, now you've done it. It really isn't a good idea around a tiger, Charlie. They've got big teeth and big claws, so you don't want to make one angry. You must stop throwing those bananas. That's it, Charlie. Just act nice and calm. Drumming isn't nice and calm, Charlie Bear. It's loud. Stop it, Charlie, please. Midge will wake up and be very angry. Oh, please, Charlie, be sensible and calm down. Who knows what that tiger might do if you wake him up. has got a really loud roar. That's better. Tidying up is a much calmer thing to do. No, Charlie! Oh, I see. You're saying sorry. That's very nice of you, Charlie. Tigers eat bananas. There, Charlie. It's much nicer when everything's calm, isn't it? It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, I thought you weren't going to be silly and out of control anymore, Charlie Bear. What's that? It's not you being silly. It's Mitch. <laughs> oh, well. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh. Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Huh? Is that you, Charlie? It is you! <laughs> oh, yeah, be careful! Oh! <laughs> Poor Frozo! Um, so, Charlie, why are you wearing your warm winter clothes? It's a hot, sunny day! Ah, that's right. Winter clothes are your favourite. Ah, very nice. Very fetching. Super cool. Although, you know, warm. It's a hot sunny day, Charlie. You'll get way too hot dressed like that. You did get too hot. Mm-hmm. Are you going to take those winter clothes off now? No, but... You'll get even hotter if you run around playing tennis. Okay. Now, I have no idea what you are doing, Charlie. I mean, no idea. None whatsoever. Charlie? Charlie? Charlie! <laughs> there you are! I see! The 
tennis rackets are snowshoes. <laughs> OK, now you're dressed right. There's no way you'll get too hot in the icy Antarctic. Charlie! Woohoo! <laughs> you the bear! You've got this whole snowy place to yourself, Charlie. That's one way to play tennis. Uh, your tennis snowball came back. Maybe you haven't got this whole place to yourself, Charlie. Charlie, why are you running away? It's just Frozo. Oh, it's not Frozo. It's a scary penguin you've never seen before. I've got it. <laughs> Look out, Charlie! Hurry up, Charlie, he's behind you! Is again. How did he get there so quickly? <laughs> You're going to hide in that igloo, are you, Charlie? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, Charlie, the penguin seems disappointed. Sad, even. You can't stay in here all day. Maybe the penguin will go away. <coughs> nope. The penguin's not going away. What are you going to do, Charlie? Oh. Oh, dear. Charlie, the penguin has been waiting so long, he is getting cold. He's shivering. He needs to warm up. See? Oh, well done, Charlie Bear. That's very nice of you. I knew penguins were nice and friendly. Frozo is nice and warm, but it's still a hot day outside. I love your igloo, Charlie. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, you're off outside to play. Well, bye-bye, Charlie Bear. See you next time.